Hey guys, Saga here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Sombra, and more specifically Sombra's timing. So, to me, the addition of another DPS hero is a little bit off-putting, considering the majority of the problems we have with composition on the lower side of the pyramid, or even all the way up to the middle to high area of the pyramid, is that people want to play DPS and don't want to play tanks and don't want to play healers. This results in a really bad experience for the majority of people. Ideas and terms like ELO Hell come to mind because this is sort of how people feel. Like, how am I supposed to progress when no one will play a healer? Where I'm already playing a healer or a tank, I'm already being a team player, but my team doesn't want to play as a team. And I understand and sympathize with all of this, but the developers have a very unique opportunity to influence this. Think about skins for a second. If you just release a new skin for a character who's underplayed or who needs to be played in the meta so that other people can have a better experience. So say you release a new Mercy skin or a new Lucio skin or a new Anna skin or any of the supports or any of the tanks to encourage people to play it. In this way you can subtly make people want to play those heroes more and it's done without forcing anything. You didn't have to change anything about the game mechanics, you just simply gave them a new cosmetic. Right? Now take a new hero launch. So imagine if instead of DPS, Sombra was a healer or a tank. If you give everybody this new toy, this new healer or this new tank that performs really great and does all these new things, uh, maybe has some weird supportish qualities, like, like who knows what the character would be. My point is, is that because it's a healer and tank and because it's new, you're gonna have more people playing. I would go a step further and say that if you're going to add a new healer or tank, you should make it so that some of the lower level people can play it effectively. Uh, in the same way that Lucio is kind of newbie friendly, like another hero similar to that, but maybe with Winston-esque properties would be nice. Now what do I mean by Winston-esque properties? Um, Winston is a character who on face value looks like there's not much to. Uh, he's able to jump in and do 60 damage per second, and that seems useful, and his impact does damage, but that's all you think is there in the beginning. Until you see somebody really good play Winston. Uh, I remember the first time I saw Miro kill Taimu as Reaper, as a Winston, and my mind kind of like exploded into ribbons. Taimu had just about every advantage. I mean, the fight started very close. Uh, and Miro just managed to outdance him with his shield. And it was it was brilliant. Like it was very well played on his part. And I thought, man, I might have misjudged this character. And the more I explore into it, the more I say, oh, there's depth there. Approachable characters that help improve compositions will help the game be healthier over the long run. It will mean that lower players will have a more team-oriented experience because people feel incentivized to play the new hero or to play the, the hero that has just gotten a new skin. Look, I'm super all kinds of excited about Sombra. Everything about her kit looks like something I would like. Uh, I do wonder whether or not her kit's going to make it out of PTR, as is. Silence seems very powerful and it seems to asymmetrically affect heroes. So like, it might render Reinhardt like near useless if he can't use his shield. Whereas other heroes who have, you know, small shields or no shields, like, barely get affected by it. In a way, that's cool because it makes her very niche but in a way, it's really uncool if you're playing that hero and just somebody happens to pick Sombra or pick Sombra already, and now all of a sudden you're at this huge deficit. By the way, if you guys are new here, I make Overwatch content, Hearthstone content, short movies, I travel the world, I vlog, I do all kinds of things, so if you like that kind of stuff, please subscribe.